Hey guys, it's Chef Tom. Today we're gonna to talk about the differences between fluid ounces and weight ounces. There's a common misconception that fluid ounces and weight ounces are the same thing. Fluid ounces are things that are typically used for liquids. They also convert to units like gallon, quart, pint, cups, and even tablespoons. Uh, fluid ounces are usually used for uh, liquids and to measure volume. You have lemon juice here. Uh, it's marketed as 32 fluid ounces. Fluid ounces, uh, you'll see them on this cup here. This is a four cup measure right here, which is also a quart. Uh, measures 32 fluid ounces. Now that can be a little deceptive because right here it just says ounces, but it's actually fluid ounces. Fluid ounces are used in things like gallons, quarts, pints, cups, uh, measuring spoons, uh, for instance, two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. Um, now weight ounces are things that you're gonna associate with actually using a scale and uh, weighing out the item. Uh, for instance, here we have some vanilla yogurt and on the container it's marketed as 32 ounces, two pounds. The lemon juice is marketed as 32 fluid ounces, which also equals one quart. It's important to know the difference when you're crafting recipes and you're following recipes. Uh, let's say, for instance, you're serving chicken with a five ounce scoop. A lot of people have encountered think that the five ounce scoop is actually five ounces weight. The recipe intended it for it to be weight, but people are using five ounce scoops thinking they're the same thing. In situations like that, recipes aren't being used as intended. If you're giving them a five ounce scoop instead of five ounces of weight, you're giving them less chicken and that's not what the recipe is intended to be. You run into all kinds of problems with portioning, food costs. The recipe will not have the intended outcome. I've seen professionals that have been in the business for decades uh, not know that there's a difference between fluid ounces and weight ounces and they're responsible for writing recipes and that caused a lot of confusion. And I, I see this all the time, people confuse the two. One of the big things, uh, somebody was measuring out um, yeast. It was supposed to be by volume and they translated that to weight and the intended consequence was the bread had way too much yeast in it. it totally ruined the recipe. Somebody spent hours making it. Uh, there's handy little charts out there that actually describe the relationship between fluid ounces and tablespoons to cups, to pints, to quarts, to gallons. Uh, they all are pieces of each other. With weight, I mean, it's just simple weight. However much it weighs is what it is. There's 16 ounces in a pound. This is 32 ounces, it's two pounds. Now I know this can be a little confusing. Fluid ounces originally came about in England and Scotland. Fluid ounces were originally the amount of liquid for volume, say like water or wine. One fluid ounce of liquid is very close to one ounce of liquid uh, by weight, but it's not exact. Sometimes recipes will ask for a liquid in a weight amount, like a lot of baking recipes will do that, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you just need to know that there's a distinction between the two. Weighing liquids can be more accurate than using volume measures. So now I'm going to show you some of the examples of what I mean by Volume measures are different than weights. So these are all volume measures. This is a two fluid ounce portion cup, which actually is the same thing as a quarter cup. And I have water, I have sprinkles, I have powdered sugar, and I have coins. The cup itself weighs like 0.1. Sometimes on the scale even registers a zero. So it's somewhere in between. But we can almost assume that the cup weighs like almost nothing. Here we have a cup that's full of air. So here's your first example. Air weighs almost nothing but it takes up two ounces of space, right? Here's water. Now the water says it's 2.1 ounces. So it's very, very close. Like I said, that's how it was originally designed. One fluid ounce of water is very close to one weight ounce. Sprinkles. So here you see we have two fluid ounces of sprinkles, but that only weighs 1.8 ounces. Powdered sugar. We have two fluid ounces, but it actually weighs 1.3 ounces and some coins. Uh, our coins, it's two fluid ounces, but it weighs 7.7 .7 ounces by weight. So if you were to assume that volume ounces are the same as weight ounces, you would be misguided. As you can see, one thing weighs way more than two ounces. Uh, one thing weighs very less than two ounces. It's important to know the difference when crafting recipes. I would say if you're working with like a 
newer kitchen staff or like um, kitchen staff that wasn't as experienced, I would stick to using, uh, your, keeping your fluid ounces and the measurements like cups or tablespoons or quarts or gallons or whatnot. Now, if you're dealing with like meat or something that's weighed out by weight, then stick to the weight. The most important part is to be consistent with that. But say you have like a more professional experienced kitchen crew and they're aware that the recipes are have fluid ounces and ounces in there and that they know the distinction between the two, then go ahead and do that. It's just important that you stay consistent with your recipe writing. And if you're reading recipes, make sure you know the distinction as well. So I hope that shed some light on the fluid ounces versus uh, weight ounces for you. Um, I mean, you just need to know which one you're dealing with and um, be aware. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.